Welcome to Naresh IT channel. As a part of hacker programs all in one, we'll see the next problem. Okay, now this problem is related with again strings. And you have given a string and you should convert the string into a swap case. Okay, so in other words, you should convert all lowercase letters to a uppercase and uppercase letters to what? Lowercase and that you can call it as swap case. For example, there is a www.nareshati.com so where in www w is a capital and in narishati n is a capital and i is a capital and in dot com c is a capital now you need swap it i mean wherever uppercase letters are there you should convert into a lowercase and wherever lowercase letters are there you should convert into what uppercase now that is called as a swap case now let us see how to solve this problem now here also we are trying to use uh, two predefined functions one is called as ord so ORD is a function which gets a decimal equivalent of what character and we are trying to use again one more function called CHR which is again convert a number to what character okay so we are trying to use two functions here one is ORD function and one more is what CHR function now these are two predefined functions available in what Python now let us write a program to convert a string into what swap case now let us see how to write a program. So first I am declaring one string by saying str1. I am creating one string str1 uh, which is equal to I am saying www dot okay where first letter is in capital letter and two letters are in what small and then I said here nourish okay nourish n is capital and i capital and t is a small and c is a capital and o and then one more is what m okay now this is the original string now what you need to do is you need to swap the cases right so for that i try to declare one more string why because strings are not mutable strings are what here immutable so i create one empty string now you can create an empty string by just putting single quotes or you can just call a string function to create one empty string so I just created one empty string. Now what you need to do is you should read each time one character from the string. Okay. So you are reading each time one character from the string by using for loop. Now what I am doing here, I am saying for C in. Okay. I am saying for C in str1. So what this particular for loop will do is every time it will read one character from the string 1. So what is the first character in string 1? W which is in capital letter okay and I should convert that capital letter to what small letter I should convert that uppercase to what lowercase but before that I should find out first is it that character is in uppercase or what lowercase so when it comes to a python we can compare these characters by using a relational operators like greater than and what less than right okay now I'm saying here if uh, uh, the character is greater than or equal to A, A, capital A, okay, and uh, uh, character is less than or equal to capital Z. The character is greater than or equal to capital A, and character is less than or equal to what? Capital Z. Means if it is in uppercase, okay, then I should convert that character into what? Lowercase. But how can I convert it? Okay. For that, what I am doing is, I am trying to use ORD function. What is the use of ORD? As I said, ORD returns equivalent decimal value of what character, which is called as ASCII value. Okay. So, ASCII value, it returns the ASCII value of that character. So, what I am doing is, I am saying, okay, n equal to, n equal to ORD of, n equal to ORD of C. Then suppose assume that if the character is uh, capital A, so what is the capital A equivalent of uh, ASCII value 65 and what is a small letter equivalent uh, ASCII value 97. Now what you need to do is you need to add it. You are saying n equal to n plus what 32. Now that is nothing but 65 plus 32 is what 97 and again you should convert this into a character. So I am declaring ch equal to chr of n. 
Now CHR is a function which convert ASCII to what? Character. And after doing this, you are concatenating with another string that is called as str2, which is nothing but swap case string by saying str2 equal to str2 plus ch. Now, this is for upper case. Now, you need to understand this. I am reading one character from the string. Now, what is the first character here? Capital W. Okay. Now, is it capital W is greater than or equal to A? Yes. Okay. And is it capital W is less than or equal to Z? Yes. Then we will get a, a numeric value of what? Capital W that is called as ASCII value. And to that ASCII value, I added what? 32. Then I will get what? Uh, lowercase uh, ASCII value. And then you are converting that ASCII value again into what? Character. And that character is concatenated with what? String. I am saying else if, uh, okay, character is greater than or equal to what? Small a. Now, if the character is in lower case, I am saying and uh, c is less than or equal to what? Small z. So, the character which is read from the string uh, is uh, between small a to small z. Uh, what I am doing again, I am getting the ASCII value of that lower case character. Okay, now O R D of c. And then I am saying n equal to n minus 32, n equal to n minus 32. Suppose if it is a capital A, it is 97 and 97 minus 32 is what? 65 is ASCII value. Again, again I am converting this ASCII value into what? Character by saying CH equal to CHR of, CHR of, uh, what is that? N. And after that, I am trying to concatenate this by saying str2 equal to str2 plus str2 plus character. Suppose if it is not uppercase, if it is not lowercase, then it is a special character and you are trying to concatenate that special character directly by saying str2 equal to str2 plus what? C. Now, this is original string. I am printing original string which is nothing but str1 okay and then I try to print a swap string which is nothing but str2. Now I just run this program by saying this I save this program and I run this now you can see www.narishit.com it is original string and small w and two capital letters and n is small and narish i is a small and then com. Now Wherever uppercase letters are there, it is converted to lowercase and lowercase is converted to what? Uppercase. But this can be done by using one predefined function called swap case. But we write this program without using what? Predefined function called what? Swap case. I hope you understood this program. For more programs or problems, subscribe Naresh IT channel. Thank you.